do a Tom Ford look again today. I'm going to begin with a serum that I received in my Bare Minerals order. Skin Longevity Lifelong Herb Serum. Oh boy. It's, and it's just that. It's a serum. So it, I don't know what it's supposed to do. Just going to try it. Smells a little herby. Ah, what is it? What is its claims? 75% in skin texture, 28% less fine lines, 22% in radiance, 23% in skin tone. Oh well, whatever. If my face falls off, you'll know why. All right. Let's do a eyeshadow primer. Which one shall we use today? I guess so that we'll be can you can't compare and contrast if you change up the what you're wearing underneath, you know, on your eyelids. So I'm gonna keep that consistent. I'm gonna take the Dolce and Gabbana Perfect Mono Eye Color in Nude. I'll get a mirror so I can see my, my visage. I do have liner on this eye already. I was playing with the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk before I came on. This is the Real Techniques. It's just a blending brush, right? Dome Shadow Brush. I don't know why I can't remember that. It might be because I don't care. I'll put it on my lower lash line too. I hope to duplicate this wing on the other eye. All right. We're going to use a different shadow palette today. Today we are going to use the, this one is also an anniversary present from Pat. The, the palette is called Virgin Orchid. It's number 27. And we're going to, we're going to wear these on our lids. I'm going to begin with the rosy color. It's not a game. It's a red skin. And put that on the transition area. This looks like it's going to be a, a tame palette. That's never Pat's intention when he picks out an eyeshadow palette. He just picks out colors he likes. Yes, he did pick out the Disco Dust. I guess the fact that it had sparkle in it is one of the reasons he chose that. I'm going to go ahead and take that all over my eye because it's so tame. I guess Virgin was supposed, should have given that away, right? All right. All right, now I'm going to go in with the, I'll add extra to my lid lid. Now I'm going to go in with the dark color. I'm going to put that in the outside corner. It's like almost the same color as the Pillow Talk eyeliner by Charlotte Tilbury, see? So I'm putting it, concentrating it right here in the outside corner and buffing it out. We have funny lighting because it's pretty early still. Uh, I went on my walk, did some yard work, trimmed some bushes, some shrubbery. This is still the dark. I'm going to take the lightest color in this palette, kind of a creamy white, that up there. Oh no, surprise, surprise. You would have never guessed that that's where that was going to go. Could use that one as a highlight too, right? I'm putting that light color on the inner inner corner. Okay. There's a a movie color in here too. I'm not quite sure where I want to put that. Maybe I'll put that. I'll take the movie color and put it up here. I'm gonna take the dark color and put it underneath. This would be a nice, safe palette to take with you if you're going out of town. You could use it every day. It's a nice, basic palette, right? Not too much sparkle. All right, I'm going to take the Charlotte Tilbury pencil, wherever it went. There it is. And I'm going to put it, I'm going to do this eye with it. 
I'm gonna start working. I'm gonna start working across the top of my lash line. And then start going out. I'm not as tired today as I was the other day after I mowed the lawn and they tried to come in and do a video. It worked out okay. I was just too tired. I was too tired to be patient and slow. If you hear something, that's my stomach chewing on bubble water. I don't know why it wants to chew it. Can you hear that? Now I'm going to touch up the other one. Good. Every breath I take, it's like when my diaphragm goes in and out, it make squishy noises. Put that down and pick up the brush. All right, there you go. Now I'm going to, in an effort to make it look the same, I'm going to smoke out this one so it's smoky like the other one. It's a nice purpley brown over the top of the Let's do brows. I'm going to use the espresso again. I'm going to brush my brows where I want them first. I always forget to do this first. I get impatient and want to get on with it. Can y'all hear the cicadas? I'm going to take the fake braille gel from Sigma and use my Lush Karma Soap. And place my brows. While the camera was cooling off, I used this uh, Jaclyn Hill. It's a uh, number 42 brush. And I used it with the Sigma Highlight Cleanup Plus Highlight Brow Crayon. And I dabbed it on here like this and ran it under my brows like that. And I used the Lash Paradise Primer on my eyelashes and now I'm going in with the badass mascara. I had a question. Do I recommend it? At this point I don't know. It's still brand new and I never am over the moon about a mascara until it dries out a little bit. So I don't have an answer for that yet. Somebody asked if it was as good as Fenty. I don't know. I like the brush. It's nice and pointy, spiky. It divides your, your lashes out while you, while you apply. If it tells you anything, I was watching a Rosie Huntington Whiteley video yesterday and this is the mascara she was using. <laughs> Not that her videos aren't product placement, I don't know. I mean, how much makeup do you think she has to purchase? I would think none. I would think people are beating down her door to get her to put their makeup on in a video. All right, so that's the first coat. And we're going to move on to the foundation. I'm going to use the Tom Ford Traceless Perfecting Foundation. 
It's got titanium dioxide in it. That must be where the SPF comes in. I am going to use what brush? I don't know which foundation brush I want to use. Oh, I have. I'm going to use the Sigma 3D HD today. And all I have on my face so far is that serum from Bare Minerals. It wasn't moisturizing. It was one of those that just soaks in. Uh, another squirt. This is a super cool brush because it's beveled and you can get all the tight places with it. See, watch. See, so get that. And just run it across the top of the brows. Here, let me get that. I never buy a, you know, I mentioned the titanium dot side. I never meant buy a foundation for the sunscreen. I'd rather it have vitamins and stuff in it. I don't need my foundation to have sunscreen in it. I don't have any sun sensitivities. All right, there we go. Let's use the, is it gold dust? The bronzer from Tom Ford. Put it across the top of my nose. Get my forehead real good. There goes a runner. It's, it's kind of hot to be running already this time of day. It's already 1010. I bet it's mid 80s or cl close to 90 already. All right. Let's use this Ravish blush. I'm going to use this Luxie brush. It's a duo fiber powder because this is a very pigmented blush and last time it I was over the top before I knew it. My lighting isn't even, so it's hard to tell whether my whether I did a silly job with my foundation or not. With my bronzer. Okay, here's second coat of Badass. Wow, that's just awesome. I gotta fly. Okay, let's do Maybelline Instant Age Rewind underneath the eyes. It's going to be a hot one today, boys and girls. Now I'm going to take my F64 from Sigma. It's going to be too hot, I think, to lay out in the sun today. I hope I got all the D I needed when I was trimming the bushes. Trimming the shrubbery. You go the little kitty poos to the pool. Remember when I used to do that? Take those boys to the pool and to the beach, to the pool to the beach, to the pool to the beach. Soccer camp, no, not soccer camp. Mine didn't play soccer. Skateboard camp. Mine, I had a skater and then one went to private investigator camp. <laughs> and robot camp so i had a brainiac and a athletic all right all right for the lips we're going to start with indian rose like that i look like i need some pillow talk on my tight line all right uh let's do some powder for some extra coverage just so we have a perfected look. I'm going to take my Bare Minerals Powder Foundation in the color Medium Beige number 12 and I'm going to take the F25. It's a tapered powder brush. Fine. 
from Sigma. And I'm going to swirl this on. There. Now I have a perfect finish. Now let's do some highlight. What color was it in here that I said would be good for a highlight? I think I'm, I'm going to use the the eyeshadow palette. I'm going to take the white. I'm going to take this little brush by by Jaclyn Hill. I'm going to put the white I may have put it up too high. There we go. I'm going to put it on my Cupid's bow. And I'm going to take the rose gold color from this and I'm going to I thought I, I do have a highlight brush I'm going to get the highlight off my highlight brush that I currently have on there so we can see what this looks like Okay, that was a fun makeup look. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm obviously going to have to readjust my my backdrop. It's it's disappointing me greatly. All right, I had fun. I hope y'all did too. I look forward to chatting with you in the comments, and I'll see you again tomorrow night. Ta -ta. It's not a game, it's a red stick.